Hi, beautiful friends and bookish fam. My name is Brittany. This is Rescues and Reads. Thank you so much for joining me here today for another book miss video. If you are new, welcome. I'm so glad to have you. And if you are a returning subscriber, as always, I appreciate your continued support. Thank you so much for returning to another video. Today we are here to see how I've done in terms of books haul versus books read. <laughs> So if you've been with my channel for any length of time, y'all know that one of my biggest goals is to read books as they come into me so that they are not just sitting languishing on my TBR. So a big goal of mine is that any book I bring in that I haven't already read before, because I'm primarily trying to only buy books that I have listened to and know that I really want to have on my shelves. But of course, with like bookish subscription services or bigger book hauls, that's not always possible. So today we are going to run through all of the books that I've purchased or that have been sent to me in 2023. And we're going to see how I did. Did I read them? Did I unhaul without reading them? Or are they still currently on my TBR? Now I'm looking at my handy dandy book haul spreadsheet here. And according to this, I have hauled about 149 books this year. So we're just going to go ahead and quickly run through them. And I'm going to tell you what their status is. So let's go ahead and jump into it. And for the most part, I'm going to try to talk about these books in the order that I purchased them. So starting with January and moving on downward. So in January, I purchased The Last Housewife by Ashley Winstead, which I did read. I also purchased just the Fairy Loop exclusive edition of Kingdom of the Feared by Carrie Maniscalco, which I did read. What Lies in the Woods by K. Alice Marshall, I did read that. The Epic Revival of Opal and Nev, I did read. Emma by Charlotte Bronte, I did read that as well. All the Dark Places by Terry Parlato, that came in an authentic books box back when I was still subscribed to them, and I only got a few pages into that book, and I just knew that I wasn't going to enjoy that story, and so I went ahead and decided to unhaul that without reading it. So I didn't read it, but it is no longer on my TBR. Royal Assassin Assassin by Robin Hobb. That is one that I meant to read in 2023, but I never did. So it is actively on my TBR and I hope that I can get to it in 2024. Moving on into February, I hauled The Writing Retreat by Julia Bartz and I did read that. I also hauled Someone Else's Shoes by Judge Moyes, which unfortunately I made the decision to unhaul without reading. The Sweet Spot by Amy Popel, which I did read and very much enjoyed. Just the Nicest Couple by Mary Kubica, that was sent to me and I did read it. The Adventures of Amina al Sarafe, I received in a fair loot box and I did read that. Watching You by Lisa Jewell I did read and enjoyed. Moving on into March I have Wrong Place Wrong Time by Jillian McAllister. Yes I read that book and very much enjoyed it. For Her Consideration by Amy Spaulding I decided to unhaul that one without reading. The Foxglove King by Hannah Witten was another fairy loot book that I did read. I hauled Missing Pieces by Heather Gutenkopf which I did read. I actually read that one before I hauled it. I will try to remember to mention that if I read it before I hauled it which I've been failing to do so far. That was also the case with Wrong Place Wrong Time, Watching You, and The Last Housewife by Ashley Winstead. Carrie Soto is Back by Taylor Jenkins Reid, which I did read. The Way of Kings by Brandon Sanderson, which I basically hauled and then read immediately after hauling it. So I hauled it and then I read it. I also have the special edition from Fairy Loot of The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I have already read that story. Y'all know how I feel about that book. So it's not on my TBR. It's not something that I read. I didn't read that special edition of it, but I have read the book. I also purchased a very fancy and extremely expensive set of The Nevernight Chronicles by Jay Kristoff. This again, I haven't actually read those special editions but I've already read the books. So I'm counting that as read. I have both the Southern Book Club's Guide to Slaying Vampires and How to Sell a Haunted House by Grady Hendrix. Both of those were actually sent to me in two different gifting things that I was participating in and I've read both of those. Skyward by Brandon Sanderson. That was one that I read before purchasing so it has been read. Hyperbole and a Half by Ali Brosh. That was one that I purchased specifically to satisfy a reading challenge. I did read it and it has since been unhauled. The Soulmate by Sally Hepworth, which I did read. Wayward by Amelia Hart. I also read. Georgie Ella Long by Clay Caborn. I did read that. Then She Was Gone by Lisa Jewell. I also read that. I Have Some Questions For You by Rebecca Mackay. I did read that and it has since been unhauled. I also purchased a special edition of If We Were Villains by ML Rio. Again, I didn't read that special edition, but I have read the book, so I'm counting it as read. Hello Beautiful by Anne Napolitano. I tried reading it. I got a few chapters in and it just wasn't doing it for me, so I decided to stop and it has since been unhauled. A Likely Story by Lee McMullen Abramson. I have decided to unhaul that one as well without reading. The Only Survivors by Megan Miranda. I did read that. Stay Awake by Megan Golden. I did read that. I also purchased a special edition of It Ends With Us from Waterstones. Again, another example of me having read the book in a different edition and then hauling a special edition. So it has been read. And these next five that I'm going to talk to you about all were read before purchasing. The Raven King by Maggie Stiefvater. Cress by Marissa Meyer. The Silent Sister by Diane Chamberlain. Before We Were Yours by Lisa Wingate. And Dark Corners of the Night by Meg Gardner. I received The Hundred Years of Lenny and Mark as part of a gifting event and I did read that. The Last Word by Taylor Adams. I read that. Yours Truly by Abby Jimenez. I did read that. 
The Collected Regrets of Clover. I did read that. I also read The Curse of Saints by Kate Dramas, which was another book that I received in the Fairy Loot Adult book only box. The Haunting of Ashburn House. I did read that. Hook, Line, and Singer by Tessa Bailey. I did read that. And Things We Cannot Say by Kelly Rimmer, which I read before I hauled. I have four books on here that I specifically hauled for those secret reading vlogs that I've kind of been teasing y'all with throughout Bookmas. So I'm not going to mention these four by title, but I will say that I obviously have not read them yet. These next handful I actually have not read, so I'm just going to go ahead and run through them really quickly. I have Never Never by Taryn Fisher and Colleen Hoover, The Stolen Marriage by Diane Chamberlain, X as well as Why is for Yesterday, both by Sue Grafton, Sense and Sensibility by Jane Austen in the Seasons Edition, as well as Anne of Green Gables by Ellen Montgomery, also in the Seasons Edition. I typically only try to read about one classic a year, and so I just am going to have these classics on my shelves until I'm ready to read them, essentially. The Family Remains by Lisa Jewell, Homefront by Kristen Hanna, and The Invisible Husband of Frick Island by Colleen Oakley. All of those have not been read. The Lonely Hearts Book Club by Lucy Gilmore I did read and it has since been unhauled. Lean Mean 13 and Fearless 14 both by Jenna Ivanovich which I did read. The Last Thing to Burn by Will Dean. I didn't read that one. I accidentally had it marked as read so that is another one that I have not read. I also hauled the Special Seasons edition of Emma which I had read earlier in the year in a different edition so that one was read. The False Witness by Karen Slaughter which I did read. King of Crows by Libba Bray which I did read and I read that before I purchased it. The Violin Conspiracy by Brendan Slocum which I did read. The Book of Lost Names by Kristen Harmel, which I did read. These next several I have not read. Forest of Vanishing Stars also by Kristen Harmel. Diamond Eye by Kate Quinn. Exiles by Jane Harper. The Nature of Fragile Things by Susan Meisner. Shanghai Immortals by A.Y. Chow is a book that I received in Fairy Loot and that was one that I just made the decision that I wasn't interested in so it has been unhauled without reading. Immortal Longings is one that I haven't read as well also from Fairy Loot but I will be reading that hopefully. The Rose Code by Kate Quinn which I did read. The Only One Left by Riley Sager. I did read. Love Theoretically by Allie Hazelwood. I did read. Dark Corners by Megan Golden. I did read. None of This is True by Lisa Jewell. I did read. Gone Tonight by Sarah Buchanan. I did read. Family Lore by Elizabeth Acevedo. I did not read that and I have since unhauled it. Happiness Falls by Angie Kim. I did read. Just Another Missing Person by Jillian McAllister. I did read. My Dear Hamilton by Stephanie Dre and Laura Kamoy. I did read that and I absolutely loved it. Too Late by Colleen Hoover, which I did read. A Court of Silver Flames by Sarah J. Mass. That was sent to me as a gift and I have not yet read that. I also purchased a special edition set of the A Good Girl's Guide to Murder trilogy that was from Fairy Loot and again special editions. I haven't read these editions but I've already read the books so those were read. I purchased two special Illumicrate editions of All of the Blake books, Masters of Death and One for My Enemy and I have made the decision that All of the Blake is just not for me so those books will be going up on Pango shortly unread. The next several I have read so I'm just going to go ahead and run through them. Triptych by Karen Slaughter, A Touch of Darkness by Scarlet St. Clair which I read before hauling. Same with Deadlands by Stacey Marie Brown and Matt Honey by Jodi Picot. Undercover Romance by Lissa K. Adams, Crimson Lake Road by Victor Methos, another one that I read before hauling, Little Secrets by Jennifer Hillier, The Intern by Michelle Campbell, The Stranger Upstairs by Lisa M. Matlin, Demon Copperhead by Barbara Kingsolver, which I'm actually currently in the middle of reading, The Housemaid by Frida McFadden, and The Friend Zone by Abby Jimenez. The Happy Ever After playlist by Abby Jimenez came in the same gift as The Friend Zone, but I have not yet read that one. Son of Blood and Ruin was also one that I received in a fairy loot box that I have made the decision not to read, so that will be unhauled and might already be up on Pango. The Seven Year Slip by Ashley Poston, which I did read. The Summer Children by Dot Hutchinson, which I read before purchasing, so it has been read. Same with Finger Lickin' 15 by Janet Ivanovich. Red Rising by Pierce Brown. So technically I have read that book, but I'm planning on rereading it for a project that I'm doing to see if I actually like want to continue with the series. I read it for the first time in 2017, but I'm a very different reader now than I was then, and so I wanted to go ahead and reread it. So for that reason, I'm not considering this book read. It is unread and it is still on my TBR. Speak Easy by Serena Bowen. I read that before purchasing it, so it was hauled but already read. Same with An Unreliable Truth by Victor Methos. All the Sinners Bleed by S.A. Cosby, I did read. Crazy Stupid Bromance and Isn't It Bromantic by Alyssa K. Adams, I have not read those yet. Same with Falling by T.J. Newman. What Have We Done by Alex Finley, which I have read. My Darkest Prayer by S.A. Cosby, I have not yet read. A Ghost of Caribou by Alice Henderson, still not read. Neither is America's First Daughter by Stephanie Dre and Laura Kamoy. The Unmaking of June Farrow by Adrienne Young, y'all know that I have read that and I greatly enjoyed it. Same with Starling House by Alex E. Harrow, these are two that I cannot shut up about. When I'm Dead, that was 
one that was DNF'd and has since been unhauled. A Game of Fate by Scarlett St. Clair that has been unhauled without reading. Heart Bones by Colleen Hoover, which has been read. And Forever Home by Elise Whistler, which has also been read. And these next few I have not yet read, so I'm just going to run through them very quickly. Haunting Adeline by H.D. Carlton. The Housemaid's Secret by Frida McFadden. Sword Catcher by Cassandra Clare. Hurricane Wars by Thea Guangdon. Finding Perfect by Colleen Hoover. Fourth Wing by Rebecca Yaros. Assassin's Quest by Robin Hobb. That was sent to me as a gift and I obviously can't read it until I read Royal Assassin, which I also have not read yet. No One Can Know by K. Alice Marshall. A Winter in New York by Josie Silver. The Frozen River by Ariel Lahan. Hostage by Claire McIntosh was recently sent to me in the same gift order as Forever Home by Alicia Whistler. I actually do have Hostage on my TBR for December after receiving it. It has just come in from my library. I'm waiting to finish Demon Copperhead before I jump into it. So hopefully that will be read or about to be read by the time this video goes live. And then the very last book on here is actually December's Fairy Loot, which I haven't received yet. But everything that I've read says that it's likely going to be Feybound by Sar El Arifi. Now again, I don't know that for absolute certain, but that's what I have down here. And obviously I have not read it yet because I have not received it. Now, as I was going through this spreadsheet, I realized that I accidentally duplicated some of the books that I had listed on here. So my numbers were wrong. My spreadsheet currently says that I hold 142 books, not 149. But as I'm going back and editing this video, I'm hopefully keeping better count. Out of those 142, I successfully read and completed 89 of them. And about 12 of them, I either decided to unhaul without reading or I DNF'd before I unhauled. So that made a total of 101 out of 142 books that are no longer on my TBR, which is actually only about 71%, which is quite disappointing. And it's also disappointing that I ended up hauling 12 books that I decided not to read. So I'm hoping that these numbers are going to be better in 2024. I'm hoping that I hardly have to DNF any of the books that I hauled and that I decide to at least attempt to read all of the books that I've hauled. And I certainly want the percentage to be above 71%. I really want the percentage to be closer to like 85, 90%. Ultimately, I think for the most part, I was pretty successful in this. But like I said, I want to do even better in 2024. All right, everybody, that is it for this video. Please comment down below. Let me know if you keep track of the number of the books that you haul and if you know how many you read versus how many you haven't read. I would love to know. Or if you've made it to the end of this video and you are not feeling chatty, once again, go ahead and leave me like a spreadsheet emoji, a statistics emoji, a nerdy emoji. That's typically what I like to see when I'm doing kind of stats videos like this. Love to see it. And as always, if you like this video or if you just like me, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. I am participating in Book Miss Meeting from December 1st through December 25th. You will be seeing one video upload from me a day. And if you don't want to miss any of that content, please be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. I always love connecting with you in my videos or on any of my other social media platforms, which I always leave linked down below along with any of the books that I've discussed in a video, except for today, because I'm not linking 189 books that I have purchased throughout 2023. Until next time, y'all. Bye.